So I find organization and storage to be a vital component of anybody's freelance journey. Keeping everything organized keeps your mind clear and it lowers your chances for mistakes during a client shoot. In this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about how I store my gear as well as how I keep everything streamlined for my client shoots. What's going on guys? Over the past few weeks, I've been developing a storage system for my camera gear and everything that I own. So I was running into quite the problem. As I started to get more and more camera gear, I started to find myself more and more disorganized and finding myself losing stuff almost. So I just wanted to take this chance to talk to you about why you should invest in storage cases and storage solutions and a little bit of organization to go a long way in your future. So let's talk about the problem. Camera bags can only get you so far. As much as I love camera bags, I am a huge fan. They're so convenient, but Sometimes they just don't get the job done. And when it comes to camera bags, if you're going to professional shoots where it's a $20,000 set or something like that, and you're showing up and it kind of takes away from your professional look. A lot of times when I was taking my camera bags to these professional shoots, I was just stuffing as much stuff as I possibly could in a bag and then just dumping it out and trying to <laughs> figure out what went where when I got on set. So that is not a good long-term solution. I'm a firm believer in you know work with what you have, but we're gonna invest a little bit to get a lot more. So here are a couple budget solutions that I've been personally using that's helped me, one, improve the professional look that I have, stay completely organized, and it's really helped impress clients when I show up and they're like, oh, I feel like I'm getting what I pay for. And that is the thought that you want them to have. So this is how I store my gear. I use either a Pelican case or my new favorite thing, which is an Apache case from Harbor Freight. Now the Pelican cases are fantastic. They're name brand, they're on point. They are like $250 a case. You get custom cutouts. So this is kind of what I mean. This is kind of like a reinforced foam wall cutout. That way you can kind of adjust and make small adjustments, you know, move things around. It's great for lenses. It's great for stuff that you don't know how big or small it is and it works out really well. While the Apache, on the other hand, gives you a custom foam cutout. So basically, you set your camera gear on top and you measure out the exact size of it and it gives it a really, really snug fit. The difference, however, this is $55. And this is $250. So I bought a couple of these just to get everything organized. And so far, this has been the best thing I've invested in for keeping all of my gear. So one thing you wanna keep in mind is you're not just buying cases, you're buying a good bit of protection. Taking camera gear in and out, you know, throwing it in your camera bag is fine, but over the long run, you may get scratches on your lenses, you may drop your camera bag, you may actually break your camera, but having a hard shell case is going to be the way to go. And another big thing is when you're shooting, if you're anything like me, you're not just representing yourself you're representing the client that you're shooting for. So me, I usually book with creative agencies or people that have a lot of clients to work with. So when they send me on shoots, I am an extension of that agency. I don't wanna look unprofessional because I am representing them as well. Okay, so let's talk about a couple things that I recommend. So this is what I do. I do toolboxes for all my cables, for quick battery solutions. Two boxes are great because they're kind of cheap and this one's plastic, so you can just kind of throw it in the back of your car and you'll be good. But I keep a two sets of 100 foot extension cords in here. I keep all my cables for my lights. I keep all like mic cables and those random things that really don't have a good place to go. Get a two box because it's just a simple solution. Okay, so one of my favorite ones I've invested in. This is the same Apache case, but this one keeps all of my batteries. Let me show you what I mean. I keep charged batteries face down. That way I know they're charged, I know they're ready to go. I keep batteries that need to be charged with the prongs face up. That way, hey, I know this is a dead battery and when I'm on set, I'm not sitting there locking one battery in, turning the camera on, realizing it's dead, throwing the battery back out, reaching for another one. This is a battery system that I've set in place that I would recommend to anybody. And of course the case is just 50 bucks. So if you really want something like this, Feel free to copy, feel free to do whatever you need to, but if it helps you be more professional, it helps you have more of a system in place, 
please do what you need to. And that's what this whole thing is about. This is to get you to build habits to help you be more professional, more streamlined, and to cut down on mistakes with these client shoots. Because when people invest a lot of money into you, you wanna make sure that they are getting everything they paid for because they are getting you. All right, so before I take you to the back room to show you exactly how I store everything, I just wanna give you a small recap. Setting this system in place has helped me cut down on gear prep. Now, I used to gear prep the night before and it would take me about two hours because I'm going through lists, I'm making sure I got this camera lens if need be, I have this battery in place, maybe this is charged, maybe this isn't. It would take me quite a while the night before and the last straw is when I was up to about 3 a.m. for a shoot I had to be awake for 6 a.m. to go to because I was just prepping my camera gear. No more of that. Now I know that I can just pack these five or six cases and that's literally everything I own. And the thing that's great about how it's all breaking down is I have a case for my main camera, I have a case for my secondary camera, I have a case for audio. Two hours later. One for batteries and then one for lenses. It's a complete set for me and trust me, you should really, really look into it. Okay, let's go to the back room so I can kind of walk you through everything I have. It's gonna be like uh, what's in my gear inventory instead of what's in my camera bag. Let's go check it out. All right, so welcome to my gear closet. I am thankful enough to have a space in my apartment that's like dedicated to just camera gear because there's a lot of it. So there's a little bit of organization to this madness, but essentially I keep cameras, lenses, and things over here. I use like $5 bins from Target to organize like cables or camera accessories, chargers, random miscellaneous things I may never use. Um, I keep my camera bag hanging up because I love camera bags. I keep less essential stuff over here. So batteries, here's another camera bag. Here's my drone case. This is where I keep the toolbox, specialty lenses, backup lights, miscellaneous PC parts. I built PCs, so I got to keep those in here somewhere. And also, this is where I keep things like a C-stand. If you don't have a C-stand, you need to get one because these things are crazy crazy useful you can hang lights microphones cameras from them whatever you need a c-stand can do it and then there's this huge thing this keeps tripods light stands any and everything it has wheels on it it has a handle this is probably my number one recommendation for this video because if you need a place to store tripods and you don't wanna use like all those tripod bags and things like that, this is the way to do it because this thing, you can just, you can just stuff, stuff down in here. And that is so convenient for me. Big shout out to who is Matt Johnson for recommending this. It is crazy essential. So on these lower shelves, I have stuff like my Etochrome gear, all my motion control stuff. I have the gimbal, and on the bottom floor is where I usually keep tripods and soft boxes. So that's how I organize my stuff. That's why I keep these cases because now I can just walk in here, grab my five cases and I am good to go. All right, so let's take this thing back to the desk so we can get this video closed out. All right, that's all I have for today, guys. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, consider subscribing because I'm bringing you more content just like this every week. So. You guys stay safe, you're loved, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.